I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. If you wanna dribble like this in NBA 2K22, you must watch this video all the way through. I was just trapping. I cannot tell you what the fuck just happened Used to have all the static Now I don't really care about nothing Just want the cabbage And I just want a bad bitch She set me up then she leaving the back end Then she leaving on weekend These bitches be bugging These bitches be I gotta get to these pesos Now I smoke on my dope I don't chase hoes What's good YouTube man? It's your boy Man Go Crazy man And we are back with another video And as you guys can see by the thumbnail man I got a little short video for y'all today. I'm going to be giving y'all the best six in season two of NBA 2K22, man. 2K dropped new sigs into the game, and I'm going to be breaking down which ones are good and which ones are bad. But, man, I know y'all see me moving in these clips, man. If y'all want to move like this, man, I highly recommend y'all watch this video all the way through, man. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, man, before we get into these dribble moves, man, I would really appreciate it if y'all hit that like button and dropped a sub with noties on, man. We are on that 20k grind. We are dropping straight bangers all year, man, so I would really appreciate it. So now I'm going to be telling you guys the new sigs that 2k added in season 2 and if it's good or it's bad man so for the dribble style i'm not gonna lie as of now the quick dribble style is the best in the game nothing has uh came close to beating it but as you can see right here the season two release below the steph curry dribble style that is a new sig if it says season two release that is a new sig but um as of now with the dribble style as you guys can see, uh, they haven't added anything else, but as of now, Quick is the best dribble style. Moving crossovers, they added Kyrie Irving, and that is it. But uh, I ain't gonna lie, um, when I'm playing the game, I, I never do a moving crossover. I'm not gonna lie. So this move is kind of irrelevant. I ain't gonna lie. But right here, moving behind the back. This is where some debates have been brought up between Scottie Pippen and Damian Lillard. I'm not going to lie. Right now, I use Damian Lillard. I think Damian Lillard's the best in the game, and I will explain why in a little bit. But as you guys can see, they added the James Harden moving behind the back. I ain't going to lie. This is dog shit. Don't buy this. Save your VC. But um, I'm going to get back to this move in a little bit. So for the moving step backs, they didn't add anything. So I ain't going to talk about it. Moving spins. Now, they added Kevin Durant. I'm not going to lie. This move is fast. This spin is very fast as you guys just saw this move has potential it really does but i'm not gonna lie it's not gonna be better than just the basic spin because with the basic spin you could do the so moving and um i'm not gonna lie i would not pick the kevin durant moving spin over the so moving spin you could say so as of now the basic spin is the best in the game but if you guys don't even know what a so moving is i'm not gonna lie i would put on the kevin durant spin so for the moving hesitation, 2K did not add shit, so we're not going to talk about it. Signature size up. Here's where things get interesting. They added the Allen Iverson, the Kevin Durant signature size up. These are the two we're going to focus on, but they did add D-Wade and Isaiah Thomas. These ones aren't good. But these two right here, these two really do have potential. But like I said, it's not really game breaking. Like as you guys can see, they are clean. They are smooth. It's pretty fast. You know, you can get shifty with these signature size ups, but I'm not going to lie. It's not game breaking. So I honestly don't recommend buying these, but I can see these actually coming up a little bit in the future when people start to get a feel for the uh, season two sigs. But as of right now, we are only 12 hours into the season. So as of right now, I would not buy these, but keep an eye out for them uh, as the season continues. Um, so for the signature combos, they added D Rose, Russell Westbrook, and John Wall. Once again, these are really average. They have potential. You know, they're they're shifty, they're fast, but right now it's not gonna break the game. So I don't recommend buying these. Um for the size up escape packages, they added Damian Lillard. But I'm not gonna lie, Trey Young is the best size up escape package. Hands down, nothing's gonna beat it. So I'll get back to this uh, size up escape package uh, later. 
And for the triple threat style, I'm not gonna lie, if you are even in this section contemplating whether you should buy one of these, you might as well take this 250 VC and shove it up your ass, because this is the most unrelevant thing in the game, I'm not gonna lie. Alright boys, man, it is time! to release the best SIGs in Season 2 on NBA 2K22. But before we get into it, man, if y'all haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if y'all hit that like button and drop a sub with noties on, man. Since I'm plugging y'all with the best SIGs in the game, I would really appreciate it if y'all dropped a sub with noties on, man. But without further ado, let's get right into it, man. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, y'all are gonna be some dribble gods when y'all put on these SIGs, man. So for the dribble style, we have Quick, as I mentioned before. Quick is the best dribble style in the game. Four guards, nothing will beat it. It's as simple as that. Signature size up, Derrick Rose. Now, there has been a debate between Kemba Walker and Derrick Rose, but I'm going to explain this to you, and I need y'all to listen. The Kemba Walker SIG, when it, when it comes to the speed boost, the Kemba Walker SIG makes the speed boost slow. I'm not gonna lie, I tested this. As you guys can see, I used both SIGs. But when it comes to choosing one, the D Rose, you get a faster speed boost. So I highly recommend you guys get D Rose. Signature combos, Kyrie Irving, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really, um, don't really use this. Um, but Kyrie Irving, as you guys can see, it's pretty quick, it's shifty, it's fast. Um, so I just went ahead and went with Kyrie. Now for the size up escape package, for the love of God, put Trey Young on, bro. This move will get you all the behind the backs, all the crabs, all the crossovers that you need. And it will give you these crossovers, but they are also the best animations in the game. This Trey Young size up escape package is going to give you all the basic dribble moves you guys need in order to score. Moving crossovers, Steph Curry. Like I said, I don't use moving crossovers. If you use a moving crossover, bro, like, you're an old head. Like, get in the wreck, young blood. You know what I'm saying? So for the moving behind the back, we have Damian Lillard. And ladies and gentlemen, this is where things get spicy. Because there has been a huge debate right now between the Damian Lillard moving behind the back and the Scottie Pippen moving behind the back. The Scottie Pippen moving behind the back is like the Pro 3 move in every other 2K. It's that long behind the back where you get, I won't say it's a speed boost, but you create some separation um, from your defender. It's It's been the best um, behind the back it's since 2K19, I'm not going to lie. But the Damian Lillard moving behind the back. Why do I keep saying moving behind the back? Like, bro, this is fucking with my head. Alright, I'm, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying the rest of the video. Alright, <laughs> so the Damian Lillard behind the back is like the 2K21 explosive behind the back. If you guys played current gen, this move was straight bopping kids. And I'm going to put a clip on the screen right now um, so you guys know what I'm talking about for those who didn't play current gen. But this move just absolutely kills defenders, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so for the moving spins, basic, like I said before, this is going to allow you to be able to do the so moving it, you get that nice little quick spin it's pretty fast uh, doesn't really create much separation but if you do it at the right time it can get you some space moving hesitation kevin durant um i ain't gonna lie i really don't use the moving hesitation this year it's pretty slow um you're really not gonna get open using this move there is one glitchy move but i ain't gonna lie i don't know how to do it i'm not trying to break the game so Kevin Durant honestly is the best sig for this, even though I don't use it. So for the moving step backs, man, I have Kyrie Irving. Once again, I really don't use step backs, but actually uh, one of my boys had this on. And it, this move um, creates a lot of separation because he was doing it in the park. And it does create a lot of separation, I ain't gonna lie. Um, so Kyrie Irving is the best sig for this. Like I said, I really don't use this. Um, but from a source, it's pretty good. So I would definitely throw this on. Triple threat style, man, like I said, bro, if you have, if you buy a triple threat style, bro, you might as well take that 250 VC, wipe your ass with it, and throw it in the toilet, bro, because this shit is ass. Alright, boys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video, man. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure y'all hit that like button and drop a sub 
with no D's on, man. I'd really appreciate it. We are on that 20k grind, boys. Alright, I love all y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one.